Okay, it's in here somewhere. Ah, the rip. I've got my printer installed. Now I've got to install the rip. Hi, David Lewis here with AW Specialty Papers in the warehouse. Anyway, we're going to be installing the Pro Rip. Going to show you how to do that. Let's go to the computer and get started. Hey, I'm just back from the uh, White Toner Success Academy. Great deal there. Had a lot of fun with it. Thanks everybody for showing up. Hey, we're going to install the uh, Uninet uh, Pro Rip right now. Give you the instruction for getting that going. All right, we open up the installation folder. We're gonna run the setup application. Set, select the English option. It's pretty simple to install. Now we're running with this dongle. So we've got the uh, dongle attached to our USB. It's a blue, so you attach it to the USB 3 connection. This is a 64-bit machine. Uh, it sees that and that's what it recommends to install. 64-bit version is really quite fast, so I definitely would select that option, accept the terms of the license agreement, and do a full installation. And you know, I usually just stay with the default folders. Those typically are pretty good options. I'm running the dealer version. This lets me uh, install multiple different ports. If you've got just one printer, then the regular version is all you need. And we let it install. Okay, now, when you're installing software that has printer drivers, you always want to restart your machine because otherwise you, you never know if it's really set up correctly. So always restart after an installation. Okay, be right back. Okay, we're back after restarting. So let's get started using the, the RIP itself. So we're finished with our installation folder. We can now open up the RIP. Now, first time setup, you want to select your options, size, decimal places. You know, for me, these work great. So I'm just going to keep those as they are. Now, the first thing that it does is it has the Create Q wizard. This is where we're installing our printer. So you want to make sure that you've got your printer uh, hooked up, whether it's USB or Ethernet connection. And then you want to use the Install Printer button. In this case, I'm installing the iColor 600 printer. I'll let it go out and, and pull in the latest installation files for that printer. Once it's done with that, then it'll automatically start the program. Now, before we do anything else, we need to make sure that we have the ports connected. We go Q, Manage Queues, and here's our port option. Anytime that you've got a new installation, and keep in mind as well, if I update the software, it does the same thing. It resets my ports back to file. So we want to go in and select this option and select however you have it connected, whether it's USB or TCP IP. Here, mine are on the network, and there's my 600. Then, and in the normal version, when you select one, it sets them all. Since this is the dealer version, then I'll need to select these each to set up that printer. So now we have the three default queues that are installed with the printer driver. These are the overprint, underprint, and CMYK queues, and they're all selected for that particular device. Thanks a lot.